I'm sorry, I need to apologize. I've made some mistakes during my time as a YouTube content creator. This video will be different from other videos on my channel, and I do not plan to make this style of video very regularly. I want to apologize, say thank you to you, the viewers, and let you know what you can expect going forward. Early in my YouTube content creator journey, I made videos that I wanted to make. You might interpret earlier as being at least half of the videos on this channel. I made videos about topics I wanted to hear or learn about. Then I went to the camera and started talking, hoping that you or some other viewers would be interested enough to pay attention. Little did I know at first, you didn't want to see these. That's why you weren't clicking on them. I do know now. Additionally, I didn't focus on you, the viewer. I focused on what I could learn or what I could try out, the cool things I could do with the different videos. I skipped over the most important part of YouTube. It's you, meaning yours. I tried some fun intros, and I found out you didn't really enjoy those fun intros. There's a reason why, and that reason is my biggest mistake on YouTube so far. The biggest mistake I've made on YouTube so far is I didn't value your time. Your time is valuable and limited. I would make videos that were too long, too slow, just didn't get to the point fast enough at all. When I started, I didn't edit very well, and some people might even say I didn't edit at all. I don't suggest watching any of these older videos, but if you're feeling really brave, and maybe have a lot of time on your hand and like to take the chance, stay tuned to the end and I'll give you some specific videos that are not worth your time. First, what should you expect from this channel going forward? You should expect me to ask you to like the videos because it really does help out with YouTube and it does help out my channel. Okay, now to the serious points. You should expect a channel name to change because Jonathan's Limitless Trading no longer accurately reflects the content on this channel. You should expect the videos to be about helping you on your investing journey or about answering your investing questions. You should expect uploads to get to the point. Expect me to react to your comments because your time is valuable and the least I can do is say thank you for contributing to the community. Sometimes I even try to provide more detailed feedback in the comments if I feel I'm able to add value. Finally, you should expect me to try to make this a community and the uploads a conversation instead of presentation. This means I'll be doing everything I can to focus on you, the viewer, and valuing your time. I'll be bringing you content that helps you and your investing. Being a confident investor can go a long way to improving your performance. Now just for laughs, as I said, I've made quite a few videos that nobody, aside from myself, was interested in. Here are two examples I found when I was looking through the archives, aka my YouTube channel. I picked two to highlight and to laugh at, and here they are. First, I thought you, the viewers, might be interested in some of the YouTubers I follow who I think provide excellent content. That's funny, because all of these YouTubers have more subscribers than me. They have larger channels than me. They've been around a lot longer than me. Why did I think you needed me to find out about them? The second video I found was about Novavax and about other vaccine manufacturers. Just don't watch it. Nobody else did. You don't want to be one of those few people. I really enjoyed making that video, but it was really about me and not about you, the viewer. When I went back to watch it again to bring it up in this video, Cringe. Ugh. Until next time, Jonathan out.